Business is going to continue as usual. Transport needs are still there. Our carbon agenda still applies. The Leaf is the world's most popular electric car. So far it's produced 50,000 Nissan Leafs and they have driven over 1.1 billion emission-free miles. We need to make progress with our HGVs. So I'm pleased therefore to be able to make two announcements here today uh, in support of greener trucks. They are only 1% of the vehicles on our roads, yet account for 17% of surface transport CO2 emissions. This industry will go from strength to strength. So we have to keep working together, keep innovating, keep improving our air quality, keep cutting carbon, and you have the full support of the government in all you are doing to achieve those objectives. We now need to ensure that we can retain as much as possible um, of the good things of environmental law and policy and climate policy from the EU. It's very important that we don't give opponents of environmental and climate change policy, of whom there are some, permission to rip it all up. We have been hit by an earthquake. There is no question about that. But not every building. Pollution affects us all, and I think it's, a, it's now being seen as a public health priority. It's our business now uh, to bring those air pollution levels down and make uh, our air clean to breathe. Energy and carbon benefits of automation and connectivity are potentially large. There are large ticks there but they are not guaranteed by any means. That's the key point that we wanted to make. All those cars are connected to the grid and are used for energy services. Uh, so the potential we have is, is, is fantastic, it's tremendous. They are going to have been experienced more changes in the next five years they have been going through in the past 100.